Here we continue to study the process of multiplying binomials together, which we did previously, such as x plus 2 times x minus 7. And what we did was FOIL this, and that acronym FOIL stood for the fact that we took x times x, which those are the first terms in each of the binomials, and x times x is x squared, Next, we took this x times this minus 7, and we got a minus 7x. And then we took the inside terms, 2 and x. Those are the inside terms. 2 times x is 2x. And then we took the last terms. That's the f-o-i-l. The last terms, a positive 2 times a negative 7 is a negative 14. And then we collected our, our like terms on the inside. So the negative 7x and the positive 2x combined to be a, a minus 5x, bring down the minus 14, and we're all done. You know, another one uh, where it just isn't x in the beginning of the binomial, something like 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1. And so we're taking 3x times 2x right here. I'm just going to write that down. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. I'm going to um, erase that. Next, we're going to take 3x times 1. So 3x times 1 is just 3x. Here, this is essentially a negative 4 because it's plus a negative. So I'm just going to write that as a negative 4 times 2x is a negative 8x. I'll write it down as minus 8x. And then the last terms are a negative 4 times a positive 1, which is a negative 4. I'll write that down as a minus 4. We collect these middle terms. They add to be a negative 5 x, bring down your 6x squared and your minus 4. Okay, so we've re reviewed the foiling process. Now what I'd like to do is talk about squaring a binomial. Squaring a binomial. So something like, uh, let's go with x plus 3, that quantity squared. A lot of people think that this problem should be, when they see x plus 3 squared, please, this is not the way to do this. Don't write this down. They think that they should take the x and square it, and then they think they should take the 3 and square it, and they get their answer of x squared plus 9. Again, please don't write that down. That is not correct. I always joke in some of my in my face to face classes that um, if the whole class does not make this mistake, I'll bring donuts in. Because what I really need you to do is x plus three squared means to take x plus three and multiply it by itself. Because when you want have something squared, you have to take itself times itself and then just foil it. Now there is a kind of a formula you could you could do with this, and I'll try to explain it in a minute. But I just say FOIL this. So x times x is x squared, and x times 3 is 3 times x. And what happens in these squared binomials? The middle terms are the same. So here's another 3 times x, and then finally the 3 times 3 is the 9. So yes, you do have an x squared and you do have a 9, but in the middle you have two terms that are alike that need to be combined. 3x plus 3x is 6x. And here is our answer to x plus 3 squared, not this x squared plus 9. Let's um, do this again. So 5x plus 2 that quantity squared. So I just advocate as you're young or just new in this that you write it down twice. Don't try to do this in your head. Um, so just write down the binomial two times and foil it. So 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times 2 is 10x. 2 times 5x is 10x. And 2 times 2 is 4. These two terms are the same. A lot of people, what they say, see this back over here, 5x and 2? To find this middle term, they take 5x times 2 is 10x, and they double it to get the 20x, because there always is two of those in the middle. And then they do take 
the, let me show you here, they do take the 5x and square it to get the 25x squared. They do take the 2 and square it to get the 4, but they always, some people can do this in their head is what I'm getting at, instead of writing this out and foiling it and combining the like terms. I mean, I would normally do that in my head, for example. Um, I'm just going to, I've picked a couple that are just a little bit, you know, more unusual. So here's um, x squared minus 7, that quantity squared. So again, I'm just advocating that you write it down twice. I picked this one so I could remind you of x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And that's because 2 plus 2 is 4, because when you multiply, you add the exponents. Here, a minus 7 times x squared is a minus 7x squared. Another minus 7 times x squared is another minus 7x squared. And a negative 7 times a negative 7 is a positive 49. So our middle term is two of these. They combine to be a minus 14x squared. Bring down that 49, and we're all done. Okay, the next type of problem in these special products is called the sum sum right here and difference right there of like terms. It's two binomials that look alike but one has a plus sign and one has a minus sign. And when you FOIL these, I'm going to get rid of this underline here, when you FOIL these you get a special situation. So let's go ahead and do it. So x times x is x squared. These, these outer terms, x times a negative 6 is a negative 6x. And these inside terms will always be opposite of the negative 6x. So 6 times x here is a positive 6x. When you FOIL this kind of problem, these two will always disappear. Finally, your positive 6 times your minus 6 is a minus 36. Again, those add to be 0. Don't write x down. They are, you could write 0x down, but 0x is nothing. So it's 0 times x, and 0 times anything is nothing. So your answer for this problem should just be x squared minus 36. So this is called the sum and difference of like terms, and it will always end up as two terms. Let's do another simple one. Why don't you go ahead and do this? Hit, hit the pause button. and do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. So t times t is t squared. This is a positive 3t, and this is a minus 3t. And a minus 3 times a positive 3 is a minus 9. These add to be nothing, and you're left with t squared minus 9. So in all honesty, when I do this regularly, and I see that it's the sum and difference of like terms, I just go, oh, I'm going to need the a squared, and I'm going to need the minus 16. And I don't bother writing down the middles, because I know there'll be a positive 4a and a minus 4a, and they will cancel out. OK, just a few uh, more tricky situations. So here, if you have a fraction, and you want to FOIL it, a times a, is a squared. You know, we really don't have to write down this 1 half a if you ever want to get to that point because then there's a minus 1 half a. That's nothing. And right there, just in case, a minus 1 half times a positive 1 half is a minus. And when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. The answer to this problem is a squared minus 1 quarter. Uh, one last thing before I go here. If you have a factor in front of two binomials that need to be multiplied, please, especially these two binomials, but I consider this to be true always, I would, I would myself FOIL these first before I multiply by 2 because some people think that this 2 has got to be multiplied by this binomial and they think this 2's got to be multiplied by that binomial. If that were the case, then this would need to be a 4. You don't multiply the 2 by both of these. It's not the distributive property. Multiplication can be done in any order. So I'm going to choose to multiply the binomials first and finish that up. And then I know my middle terms will disappear.
the 5x and the minus 5x. And now I'm going to multiply by the 2. So now I'll get 2x squared minus 50. Now watch, I could have done that same problem by taking the 2 times just the x plus 5, not the x minus 5. So I could have gone 2x plus 10. That would be it right there. But then I'd have to multiply that by x minus 5. And 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times a minus 5 is a minus 10x. 10 times x is a positive 10x. And 10 times a minus 5 is a minus 50. These terms add to be 0, and I'm left with 2x squared minus 50. So multiplication can be done in any order. You can multiply these two binomials first and then multiply by the 2. Or I just multiplied by the 2 by this one binomial, not by both, and then finish the foiling process. Hope I've cleared up a little bit of the special products when it comes to multiplying binomials.